Hello everyone, I'm Professor Narusev. In this video, I'm going to show you the how to implement a C++ uh, uh, word kinema kinematics function in C++ language. All right, so this is our robot arm uh, implemented in this video. So we have three joints. So first joint, uh, the angle is uh, theta sub one. Second joint, uh, theta sub two. Third joint with the angle of the theta sub three. And this is our hand tip. So this is a XY plane two dimensional robot arm. So the objective of this code is to implement a C plus function to solve the, the forward kinematic function of this robot arm. So our argument is here. So joint angle vectors like theta one, theta three, theta sub three, uh, those are given by uh, column vector. And our return is here, uh, pose matrix. So in each of the joint, we have the, the three components, like X, Y, and Q, theta. And we have the, the three joints, like the first joint, second joint, third joint, and the hard, uh, hand tip. So we have three by four matrix. So this is our return. And we will represent the, this the vectors and matri matrices with library called eigen. All right, so I will explain it later. All right, so eigen is a C++ template library for linear algebra. So it can represent matrices, vectors, and also it gives us uh, numerical solvers like the inverse matrix and related algorithms. And the eigen is easy to introduce uh, because it is a template library. We just include the header files, and in, com in compiling, uh, we don't need to specify the ex external library. And this is the way to install the uh, eigen into Linux. So just uh, start this command. So sudo uh, up to install dev eigen 3 hyphen dev. Then eigen will be installed in this uh, directory. So user include eigen3. And because uh, this eigen is uh, just a, a template library, that's all about the installed eigen. And when you compile your C++ program, just uh, the, take the Z++ as you do in a, your regular C++ source code. And for Windows users, I recommend you to install the WSL uh, Windows Subsystem Linux or WSL2, so Windows Subsystem for uh, Linux 2. And because it is much easier to develop the C++ program uh, in Ubuntu environment. All right, so this is uh, our source code, and this code is available at this uh, GitHub uh, repository. All right, so this is our file. So we have the only one file, and this is the forward kinematics functions. All right, so our uh, input uh, argument is the three component vector, and in eigen, it is represented by the vector 3D. So three components with the double precision. And our return is here. So we return the three by four matrix. So now this is a three by four matrix. And the, each of the, the variables are represented in the double. So this is our return. And inside it, we have the, the some uh, parameters like link length and also for calculating the each of the joint positions we i introduce the teeth the variables and then as for the return i set the p like the three by four matrix uh, in this function all right so this is the continue of the forward kinematics function first we calculate the p0 so our the uh, uh, joint position uh, the uh, joint position of the first joint, and we put in as the, the origin point. So this is the x, and this is the y, or right, this is x, this is y, and this is the theta for this point. And in eigen, 
the, the assignment of the, the vectors can be given by this input operator. And P uh, is our return, and we set this P0 as the, the first column of this P. So we use this one. So P, the column with the uh, first index 0. So we set this one. Okay. And so this is our P0. Now we calculate the P1. So this is here. So we calculate that this the displacement uh, from the P0 like using the cosine functions and the sine functions and update the uh, accumulative the joint angles like here. So now we calculate the P1 and right, so this is a P0 and set this P1 and this uh, column. Similarly, we calculate the P2 here and set as here, so this is a P2. And finally, we calculate the P3. So P3 is our hand tip. So this is P3. So now P is set. And finally, we return this P as the, the output of this function. Now, this is a main function side. So in main functions, first we prepare the Q. So this is a joint angle vectors. So in this case, I put the 0 0.1, so theta sub 1 for 0 0.1 radian. This is for theta 2, and this is for theta 3. All right. Then uh, I set up the variables for storing the return of these forward kinematics functions. And the forward kinematics just down by this line. So forward kinematics with Q and store the output in P. And this is just the uh, printing out, uh, consoling out the result. But for the, the following the uh, plotting purpose, I transpose, so flipping the, the vertical and horizontal for printing out. Because for making the, this type of the plot, data should be aligned in this way. And we will take these as a x and these as the y. So that's why I put the transpose, so flipping the horizontal and the vertical uh, for plotting purpose. All right. So after uh, making this C pro program, yeah, just follow these steps, just as regular C program, like the taking the G compiler. And we got the executable file, like the a.out. So in this case, I store the output as this text file and invoke the GNU plot for showing this type of the robotarm pose. And this is the, the script file of the GNU plot to show this one. All right. First, we set the X range from negative 3 to positive 3. And we do the th same thing for y axis and make this the plot uh, window as a square size and set the uh, x y aspect ratio as the one and plot itself is done by this line so plot and using one and two means uh, using the, the first column and the, the second column with line and line and the point. So we put the plus sign for each of the point. So then we will make the plot from the first point, second point, third point, fourth point with line. So we got this one, so P0, this one, P1, this one, P2, P3. So plot these points with line, then it will give us the raw term pose. Okay, and this the uh, plot file is also available in the GitHub repository. Then let me show you the, the program. All right, so here uh, we have the, the source code. All right, so this is our source code. So just start the G++ the, the compile. So we get the, the executable file and just run this one. 
So we get these data values, like the P0, XYQ, P1, XYQ, P2, and uh, P3. So now we will uh, plot it. So we should do the, this one to store into the, the file and set up the, the plot file. And now run the, the new plot. Right. So this is the file uh, storing the, those the, the points, joint points. And just run the, the GNU plot. Uh, we get this uh, arm pose display, right? All right, this is all about this video. Uh, thank you.